Google Cloud Next 2017 hosted a veritable smorgasbord of talks detailing the future of cloud. If you didn't get a chance to catch BigQuery and cloud machine learning advancing large-scale neural network predictions, then stay tuned, because here is the recap. One of the common challenges with using machine learning is storing, processing, and supplying huge volumes of training data to your ML engine. Thankfully, Google Cloud Platform makes this super easy with the combination of BigQuery, a uh, petabyte scale enterprise data warehouse, and Cloud ML Engine, which is a fully managed TensorFlow platform. Used together, BigQuery can supply huge volumes of training data to ML Engine, which can create training and prediction models, which can be distributed and used on various platforms. The most common use case for combining BigQuery and ML Engine is to use BigQuery as a data lake. You can store all the data you're interested in, even if you're not using it all, and pre-process various parts of it before exporting it to TensorFlow or ML Engine. You can then use your trained models to enable more advanced queries of your company data. Now, it's really common to run searches on your data using keyword matching, uh, which is specifying tags that you can use to find content, such as the actor's name, uh, the movie name, or the music type. Anything you can find in the document or its metadata. While useful, tag-based searches are not as powerful as using feature vectors, which are a list of tuples containing words and their importance score relative to the rest of the words in the document. And since BigQuery lets you create user-defined functions within SQL queries, we can write JavaScript functions that calculate the feature vector for each document and determines how similar they are to each other. You could use this technique to find similar questions on Stack Overflow or similar posts on Reddit. You can use the same approach for all content, not just documents, and that's where ML Engine comes into play. We can create ML models to extract feature vectors from unstructured data like images, natural language, or spending patterns, and then use BigQuery's UDFs to do feature vector queries using those models. When applied to images, instead of getting a list of labels describing the contents of each picture, we get feature vectors that can be compared to those from other images. As a result, even without knowing what's in each image, we can search BigQuery for similar images, or perform analysis based on grouping those similar images. Another use case for combining BigQuery and machine learning is to perform large-scale demand forecasting and providing recommendations for your customers. We're once again going to take advantage of BigQuery's user-defined functions. This time, we'll use historical buying trends to train models using the ML engine. Those trends can be based on variables including the uh, month, the season, or even the weather. Or you can use the buying trends of groups of users to predict what products you should be recommending them. Once you've developed the models, you can store them in cloud storage and make forecasts and predictions for specified conditions being passed as inputs to user-defined functions within BigQuery. To understand more about feature vectors and see a bunch of examples of how to use ML Engine and BigQuery together, check out Kaz's full session video for all the details. And if you want more recaps on great Next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist. And don't forget the Next World Tour coming soon to a city near you.